it looks like a high-end arcade game. Uh, oh, you got, ooh, you got around it? There you go. But this flight simulator is actually just a small taste of the real thing. So all this hand does is make you go up or down or hover. If you want to go faster, then you need to lean forward more. Glenn Martin has spent the past three decades developing a contraption to satisfy his childhood fantasy, being able to fly. This is a video of a test flight in April of 2009. He may not be the first inventor who's tried to build a personal flying device, but Martin does plan on being the first to make retail, easy-to-use jetpacks available for sale to anyone brave enough to launch themselves airborne. I believe that by the end of the year we will have some, particularly of our commercial customers, uh, who will be flying regularly. Two duct rotors blow down high-speed airflow that is controlled by three pairs of rudders. The engine's a V4 two-liter engine, putting out about 200 horsepower. And not to mention, a parachute that is released if the computer thinks you're flying out of control. Fewer than 100 people have ever actually taken off in one of these. But Martin says he's received thousands of requests. And not only from wealthy adrenaline junkies who can afford the 100,000 US dollar price tag. We've been approached, I think, by five different militaries, uh, about six different governments. Um, people are looking at using this in border patrol through around a lot of the sensitive borders in the world. He won't say which ones, but insists that if the company had a hundred of these on the shelf today, they'd be able to sell them by tomorrow. Martin envisions a future where a typical day would include flying to work, with a quick landing at the gas station for some petrol and a cup of coffee on the way.